minus 2023 Finals MVP Nikola Jokic of the Denver Nuggets, along with Bariza Simonic of Basket Zaragoza, who had to have a kidney removed after taking an elbow against South Sudan. Bogdan Bogdanovich of the Atlanta Hawks dropped 23 points against a Team Canada with seven NBA players in the World Cup semifinals, fueling Serbia into the World Cup championship game, where they'll take on Dennis Schroeder of the Toronto Raptors and Team Germany. Dominating my home country. Bogdan was one of three Serbs to drop at least 16 in the victory next to six-time Serbian League champion Ognan Dobrich and two-time EuroLeague rebounding leader Nikola Militanov. We're going to look at how Atlanta's backup shooting guard proved he deserves a bigger role with his team in the association, and how Serbia has overcome the odds to be on top of the world right now. Leaving everything out there for his home country, Bogdan Bogdanovic out-hustled the Canadians on the glass, knocked down heavily contested three-pointers both off the dribble and via catch and shoot, and let his fellow NBA players know about it with some light trash talk. He was posting up to pull off quick twitch drop steps to get himself easy looks at the basket, isolating then manufacturing mid-range looks with impulsive finesse and making line drive attacks, drawing gravity before either setting up teammates for wide open buckets or euro stepping to get it done himself. Bogey's three point shot creation in the pick and roll kind of resembled a hybrid of Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, as he was seamlessly stepping back and draining shots with a hand in his face. Far from a one-trick pony, this man also got it done on the other end, racking up three steals, including the most important passing lane disruption of the game, where he picks off the kickout from Alexander Walker and takes it coast to coast to put the game out of reach. As a team, Serbia shot a blistering 62.1% from the field, made 45% of their three-pointers, and out-rebounded Canada 33-22. to What's most insane about what Serbia is doing is how they've overcome being dismissed by non-believers entering this tournament. Even during this tournament on August 21st, Serbia wasn't amidst the top 10 of the 2023 World Cup power rankings. A few weeks later, Serbia proceeded to blow out a Lithuania team coming off a victory against the United States by 20 points holding the Lithuanians to 68 points after they just dropped 110 on the number one ranked, now eliminated Americans. Of course, the nation's top player in Jokic decided he was going to skip the World Cup after winning the NBA title and finals MVP for the Denver Nuggets back in June, allowing himself time to recuperate leading up to the Mile High City's upcoming title defense. So Serbia would have to progress under the knowledge that they'd be missing the two-time NBA League MVP. But then were dealt the news that reserve forward Barisa Simonic would miss the rest of the tournament with his freak injury. However, being ranked outside of the top 10 and missing two of their most important weapons is far from the only bit of adversity that Serbia has been forced to overcome amidst their path towards qualifying for the championship game in the Philippines. Because not only is this team missing Nikola Jokic and now Barisa Simonic, but the Serbians are missing 2021 EuroLeague MVP two-time EuroLeague top scorer, five-time champion between the Turkish plus EuroLeague, incoming OKC Thunder rookie Vasilije Micic. They're also missing three-time Serbian League MVP and longtime NBA veteran Boban Marjanovic, 21-year-old OKC seven-footer and Alexei Pokashevsky, aka Poku Poku, EuroLeague champion shooting guard Nemanja Nedovic, former LA Clippers point guard Milos Teodosic, 2017 EuroLeague Finals top scorer Nikola Kalinic, along with 2021 All EuroLeague first team member Vladimir Lucic. Missing all of that firepower, who are incredibly accomplished talents that have proven themselves in professional basketball leagues all across the planet, displays two things. First of all, it displays how perseverant and well coached this 2023 Serbian FIBA World Cup team is. And secondly, it displays how much of a basketball powerhouse that Serbia has developed into as a whole. This team is going to be a problem, not just in the championship game against Germany on Sunday in Manila, but in the 2024 Olympics in Paris and for many years to come. For now, the Serbs have one more game to win before getting the label as World Cup gold medalists. Shooting guard in the Serbian league and actually a former player for the Memphis Grizzlies in Marko Guderic, detailed how the Serbs haven't made any excuses despite all the players they're missing, saying, it doesn't matter who's not here. It's all about this group of guys, whoever is here, whoever is wearing this Serbian jersey. We never give up, we fight till the end, it's in our blood. 
While Marco made no excuses regarding who wasn't available, Guterich would also dedicate the victory against Team Canada to fallen soldier Barisa Simonich, who suffered that aforementioned gruesome kidney injury and remains in a Manila hospital, saying, I want to dedicate this win to him. Hopefully we're going to see him soon with us, with the team. Just want to say that hopefully he feels a little bit better when he knows he has a medal. I know it's not important, but I hope we made him happy tonight. ABA League MVP, the Philadelphia 76ers 50th overall pick in 2021, and a product of Gonzaga University, who's going to join the Sixers in the 23-24 season, 6'11", 234 pound Philip Petrusiv, would highlight how this Serbian team has ignored and therefore worked to prove every doubter dead wrong, saying, Nobody believed, but we didn't care about anybody. We just had fun with each other. It's a great group of guys, great chemistry, and when you have good chemistry and great players, anything can happen. We believed and we're here. Don't forget about Nikola Don't Call Him Jokic Jovic, a soon-to-be Miami Heat sophomore who's proving to Team USA assistant coach and Miami Heat head coach Eric Spolstra that he deserves more minutes next season. One of my commenters mentioned Jovic should have made my ranking of the top 10 NBA players who will break out in 2023-24, which was a good point considering his sharp shooting and well-rounded offensive bag. In a starting role for the Serbs, a lot to ask of a 20-year-old who barely got minutes for his pro team last year. Jovic is Serbia's third leading scorer in the tournament, as through Serbia's first seven World Cup games, Jovic has averaged 10.3 points, 2.3 rebounds, and 2.9 assists per game. He's also shot an incredible 10 of 22 from three-point range, equating to an elite 45.5% mark from deep range. While Dylan Brooks made headlines for wearing and throwing punches with boxing gloves after Team Canada eliminated Luka Doncic and Slovenia in the quarterfinals, after Serbia took out Canada in the semis, the young Miami Heat prospect in Jovic would troll Brooks by throwing punches on his way to the locker room. But there's no room whatsoever for the Serbs to get comfortable, as they'll go up against one of the fastest basketball players on the planet in Dennis Schroeder, and a German team hungry for recognition, not to mention a gold medal themselves. Nevertheless, it's worth paying homage to the fact that after Serbia's most famous hooper and joker dominated the 2023 playoffs on the way to a chip, now another Serb in Bogdan Bogdanovic has dominated the 2023 World Cup and is one win away from winning a gold medal. I really can't imagine how good of a year it's been for you if you're a Serbian, so I wanted to give a shout out to all the basketball talent this country has both in their back pocket and on the front lines by making today's video. Let me know your favorite player amidst all the depth of the Serbian national team down below. Deflo signing off.